Hey guys, Curtis Alexander, I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I want to treat this as kind of an overview of PEMF therapy. Because I've done videos on PEMF therapy, I tend to get some recurring questions and I want this video to just kind of answer those. So I want to hop right into it. So if you're not familiar, a lot of people will say, well, what is PEMF therapy? And it's pulsed electromagnetic field therapy. And what that means is this, in your body, in all of your cells are what's called voltage gated channels. Now, what needs to happen is they're, they're like gates. They open and close, they let nutrients in, nutrients out, so on and so forth. But as the name implies, for those to open, they have to have a certain voltage. And if you're not aware, your body is electrical. That's why if the doctor wants to look at your heart, they will order an EKG, electrocardiogram. If they want to look at your brain, they're going to order an electroencephalogram. So your body's electrical. That includes your cells. That includes those gates that open. But as we get older, as we experience disease, our, our charge, more or less, can go down. And so these channels have a tougher time opening. So this particular graphic right there is looking at a TRPC1, okay? It's just a fancy way of saying it's a protein. And when you can see up here, when the magnetic field exists, it can help this, this protein kind of rotate in the right way. And you can see here, it will then allow calcium into the cell and into your mitochondria. And when that happens, the end result is a few things. And this is just one study, and I'll put a link to this we can see increased mitochondrial respiration. And what that means is you're going to have more energy. Your mitochondria are the powerhouses of your cells. They take your food that you're consuming and turn it into energy and ATP and carbon dioxide as one example. It also, PMF in this case, was shown to not only help your mitochondria increase energy, it also improved the number of mitochondria in your body. Also, we saw an improved immune system, increased blood flow. And so PMF is something that helps your body at a cellular level do these very basic things that are required for so many functions in your body. Okay. Now, we talked about what it's doing in your body, but that also answers the second question because people will ask me, well, you said it can do all these things. How can it benefit so many things? Because it's acting at a cellular level. If you maybe take a medication, it will act on a certain enzyme or a certain you know, area of the body, so on and so forth. But PMF is really the entire body and it acts at a cellular level. So it really can benefit a lot of conditions. Some people will ask, what does it feel like to do this therapy? And that's really difficult to describe. I mean, you kind of have to get on one. But it number one, it depends on the type of unit or machine that you're using. They vary a lot. If you're using a lower end machine, it may be difficult to feel it. But if you're using a good machine, it will also almost start out as like a tingling. You can feel the pulse almost a little bit of a tingle. I don't want to say shock because it's not a shock, but it is very difficult to describe. But that's the best way I can do it. Do I have to do anything or do I just sit down or lie down? And it is just a passive therapy. You don't do anything. You're just sitting there. Many people will fall asleep on the machines. And I want to point out my wife and I owned a PEMF therapy business. So I've seen this on hundreds. Uh, my wife's seen on thousands of people. So yes, a lot of people will fall asleep on the machines. How long does treatment take? It really depends on where you're at in your journey. If you're brand new to PEMF therapy, uh, you're most likely going to want to do at least a half hour therapy, if not a one hour therapy. Uh, we always ran people through a one hour therapy. There aren't any rules now that I have a unit in my home. If I only have 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, that's fine. You know, I've done PMF enough now that I don't need to be on an hour at a time. I can get benefit from 15 minutes. Is PMF for everyone? What, who can't do PMF therapy? So 
Generally speaking, yes, PMF will benefit pretty much everyone, but there are some people that are not going to be able to do PMF therapy. The first group of people is anyone with an implanted electronic device. So that means whether you have a pacemaker, a deep brain stimulator, a cochlear implant, those sorts of items, because potentially the electrical magnetic fields coming from the machine could potentially interfere with an electronic device that's implanted. If somebody has a hearing aid, we'll have them remove the hearing aid. But with implanted devices, that is a contraindication. They should not be using PMF therapy. Another contraindication is pregnancy. And a third one is active bleeding. This is to, you know, this is something you want to watch out for if you've had a surgery recently and there is active bleeding, like I explained in the previous graphic. PMF therapy can help increase blood flow. That could be a problem if somebody still has active bleeding from a surgery. What about metal or silicone implants? If somebody has a total knee or hip replacement, those are fine. You can use PMF therapy on metal implants. If a woman has had breast implants, those are fine as well. Shouldn't be an issue there. What machine or unit is best? This is a loaded question. I would encourage you to go and get my free checklist at that website. I talk about this a lot more there. I try not to make recommendations on video because I do have a preference in machines, but that's not my goal here. My goal here is to help you understand what PMF therapy is. And when it comes to machines, I can tell you this, you're going to want to try the machine. I started out at the lower end of the market. We were just looking for something simple to have at home. I was very not impressed with the lower end machines. I've heard this story many, many times. I have found that with PMF therapy, you generally get what you pay for. If you stay on the cheap end, you tend to not get the results. Or if you do, they take longer. You have to be on the machine more. I've been very happy when I moved up in price and up in quality. And that's what I generally recommend. However, I try not to push brands. At this point, I do have a preference, again, I'll go grab my checklist. I talk about it more there. But the biggest thing is you're going to want to try different machines, different units, and get a feel for what's out there. Because some people will start at that lower end and they they were fine with it. They got the results. I did not. So that's that's kind of how I recommend you find the unit that's best for you. What about evidence? If this is such a great thing, why haven't you heard about it until now? That's a great question, and I think a lot of it has to do with it's not something that's typically excuse me, covered by insurance companies, uh, so it's not pushed a lot by doctors, uh, mainstream medicine. So uh, for years and years and years, it was a very fringe thing. It's becoming more mainstream now because it benefits so many things, but really was something that kind of flew under the radar. I didn't, I've been in, you know, medicine for, I don't know, 23, 25 years now. I didn't hear about it until a few years ago. So I was a little late to the game myself. But as far as evidence, this the technology of PMF has been around for many decades. It started out in the Soviet bloc, Eastern Europe. They used it extensively. Lots of older studies from that area. Then once kind of gained ground here, you can see universities like Old Dominion University has an entire school dedicated to studying bioelectrics. So you can go check that out. If you go to PubMed, which is a big, basically search engine for clinical studies and you type in PMF, you're going to have hundreds upon hundreds of studies backing up the the therapeutic effectiveness of PMF. And I can tell you from seeing people on the machines, I've seen it benefit Parkinson's disease. I've seen it benefit organ failure. I've seen it benefit pain. And I'll talk about these things more in a later question, but there's plenty of evidence, lots of scientific books written by people going through all that evidence. Again, universities are studying this stuff. So yes, plenty of evidence for it. How fast will changes happen and what kind of changes can you expect? 
Okay, so when we started people, what I like to see people do is if you're going to somebody for the therapy, I we started with a few sessions, a few one-hour sessions. The majority of people did feel something at the end of that first session. The rest of the people usually felt something by the end of the second or third session. It would be very rare for somebody not to have felt something by the end of the third session, but there were occasionally those people. So it, it can happen relatively quickly. What kind of changes? The changes can be pretty profound. Again, your PMF is acting on a cellular level. We discussed that. So it affects all your cellular functions. That means I've seen people who were in pain either experience a severe drop in pain or have their pain pretty much go away. I've seen people with restless leg syndrome who were, who were able to get off medications. People who experienced inflammation, whether that's in the form of like autoimmune conditions or just general inflammation, that can be, it's very effective for lowering inflammation. Improved hormone profiles. This is both men and women. Better sleep, decreased anxiety. I've seen it help PTSD. Improved organ function. We had a client who was told she was to start considering going on dialysis because she had a kidney failure. And she did eight to 10 one hour sessions and her kidney function improved to the point that they upgraded her, her stage. She went from stage five to stage four, stage four to stage three. I'm not a a kidney expert, but it it bumped her up enough. It was like an 8% improvement in kidney function. Uh, So they told her not to worry about dialysis at that point. Accelerated healing from wounds. I've seen it help very serious infections. I've seen it people who had pretty invasive surgery kind of accelerate the healing of the incision quite a bit. Those actually, my wife had a total knee replacement. She went to the physical therapist and they thought she was three to four weeks out based off how her incision looked, but she was like, they thought she was three to four weeks out and she was only three to four days out. But we had her doing PMF. I mean, as soon as there was no active bleeding, she was doing PMF. So definitely accelerated that wound closure and healing process. One of the most important questions for people is how much will it cost? It really depends on are you looking to go get therapy from somebody else or are you looking for a home unit? If you're going out to get therapy, you can expect to pay ballpark $50 to $100 per session. It depends on where you're at in the country, depends on what kind of units they have, so on and so forth. If you're looking for a machine to have in your home to use every day, you can go to the low end of the market and pay 1500 even less in some cases. I really wouldn't recommend that. Or you can go to the upper end of the market and pay $20,000 plus if you really want to. But again, I have found that you get what you pay for with PMF. But the, the range is quite wide on that. Does insurance cover PMF therapy? We did kind of talk about that. I, I spoke about that a bit. Not usually, we have had people that got it paid for. We did not bill for them. You know, they, we gave them the codes and they submitted to their insurance and you can have some luck with that. Other people used flex plans and, and they were successful getting it paid for that way. But as a general rule, I tell people it's kind of a, a cash-based system. One question on here I did not include, but I want to talk about is side effects, potential side effects. I will say this, PMF is one of the safest therapies that I know of. It's safer than any medication that I'm aware of. It's safer than any surgery I could think of. And that's because, again, as I showed you earlier, you're essentially giving your body a magnetic field that it responds ideally to. Now, obviously, we talked about the contraindications. There's people that cannot use it. But outside of that... The side effects would be mild if you're going to experience any. I have had people experience headaches if you use PMF. You can use PMF on the head area. You just have to be careful because it's so much more sensitive. So you can give somebody a headache if you're not careful. 
You can also cause people to, I don't want to say detox, but because their cellular function is now improving, they're going to be getting rid of more toxins, essentially. We've also had people say they're on a painkiller. They've had to lower their dose because the cells and their metabolism and their liver function enzymes have all begun to improve. They can either metabolize drugs quicker, those sorts of things. So you can experience some of those side effects. So you do want to be somewhat careful, but as far as safety, it's it's an excellent safety profile. So let me know in the comments, guys, if there's questions here that I haven't covered. Feel free to ask them if there's other topics that you'd like me to cover. Please let me know. I hope the video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.